They'll be calling you a radical. Back to this incident yesterday, which is illegal and outrageous that happened to me. First off, Buffett sold his G stock. A little late, Warren. I thought you were better than that. Well, by the way, Warren Buffett gave me that personally. There's a picture out there. You know, Berkshire Hathaway. I rode on Bill Child's Learjet from here to the show. We took students back there, you know, the yellow meeting. There's a picture out there with his arm around me that he requested being taken in the day. Talk about raise some red flags. So this is the false equivalence in the United States. And this is so outrageous that happened to me yesterday. I go in that coffee shop every morning because I take, I, I walk and then I take the bus. Oh, you're just some home. I'm not some homeless fucker. I have a nice fucking house, really nice house that I built with my own fucking hands. You know, it's almost paid for by the fucking way. So fuck you. You know, I don't, I've rejected the consumption paradigm. I try to lower my footprint as much as I can. You know, I carry my own cup. You know, so it's hot as fuck yesterday. So this is the outrageous illegal activity that's going on in this country. This is the false equivalency. So that coffee shop brands themselves as the neoliberalism. You know, a woman after I turned off the camera told me that water was only for dogs. There you go. French, your dogs, but yay, we're, you know, we're neoliberal. Ha! Uh, but not humans. This is the violation to human rights. By the way, I found out. So I walk in. It's fucking hotter than fuck here yesterday. I mean, I, I'd walk. I'm fucking thirsty. I'm tired. I just walked in and said that because I used the Wi-Fi in there. I don't get coffee in the afternoon just to get an Uber. I was like, you know, I got to have some Wi-Fi because I, you see the old phone that I use. I like it, but I can get some Wi-Fi on my, this iPad. And so I just walk up, don't even think twice. Hey, can I get a cup for some of this, some of this water? You need to buy some. I says, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I don't, I don't drink coffee in the afternoon. What do you mean I need to buy something? I'm in here all the time. In fact, you could check my credit card, which I'm going to show the police, my, check my credit card receipt. My credit card, I used my credit card that day in there, had a cinnamon roll, or got very just a few hours earlier. You know, and, and, I, and overpriced cinnamon roll. I have the credit card receipts. You know, and he says, oh, you're in here every day. In here every day. I've been in San Diego for freaking three weeks. I've only been back here for, what, eight, nine, ten days. And I haven't been in there but four or five times. I come down in the evening. I'm in here every morning. He's not there. I mean, this punk ass with a freaking ass. And I, I never called him anything. I'm like, really? Are you kidding me? So I told him, that's against the law. I'm almost 60 years old. I'm a cancer victim, by the way. And you're denying me a cup of water on a 95 degree day. That's against the law, dude. Which it is. Which it is. Which it is against the law. I'm calling the cops. Call them. Call them right fucking now. So he texts his buddy. So I'm going to be talking to the you know chief over there. Because I don't, I don't think he's going to be too happy. And I don't blame the cops. I mean, but... This cop was totally misinformed. I think they're friends. I'm sure they were friends. You know, maybe they have some kind of relationship going on. This is, it, it's, it's like this. You walk into a gay bar, okay? Say you walk into a gay bar. Talk about raise the red flag, Warren Buffett. Walk into a gay bar and you're heterosexual. And they throw you out because you're not gay. That's discrimination. It works both ways. A restaurant has been ruled over and over by the United States Supreme Court, by the Utah Supreme Court. You cannot deny people in a restaurant based on any orientation. And the number one, by being thirsty, you can freaking kick a person out for being thirsty. And think about it. a coffee shop, you're using Wi-Fi. Well, throw fucking, you know, 150 million people out because that's what people do in coffee shops. That's what coffee shops are. Walk in one. That's what they are. So he, this is outrageous. So it's 95 degrees. There's nowhere to get water. There's not a store. There's nowhere you can even buy a soda up and down 25th Street. Because I look. I'm like, well, fuck, just stop by a Coke, whatever. There's no market. There's no nothing. I'm walking, it's hot. I'm like, Jesus. I got to get something to drink. I'm fucking dying. Oh, they got a little water container. Well, that's just for dogs. Fuck humans. Wow. Welcome to America. I mean, the violations to human rights and this neoliberalism that we're fucking, it's just like the greenwashing and the well petty. We're green. 
<laughs> what, because you fucking dyed your hair green? You're not fucking green. It's outrageous. It's against the law. This is the desert, the high desert of Utah. You know how fucking hot it gets here? Oh, look at this fucking lawn. Oh, it gets fucking hot here. Arizona has the same laws. Nevada has the same laws. They're historical laws. People will fucking rule it. I mean, you think de dehydration's a fucking not a joke in Utah? You know shit. Fuck, you come here. Fuck, this is fucking 4,500 fucking elevation. It's hotter than fuck. Dehydrated hot. 95 degrees here at 4,500 feet. Oh, you get dehydrated fast. I mean, it happens all the time. Go to the hospital and talk to how many people end up with fucking serious fucking effects from dehydration in this state. I mean, it's no joke. I'm going to sue him. I'm going to sue the fuck out of him. It's called Grounds for Coffee on 111 25th Street. I'm going to sue the fuck out of him. That's against the law to deny somebody on a hot day in Utah a glass of water in a restaurant. These are restaurants advertised with Dora. And then the cop tells me, trespassing? Do you know what a serious offense trespassing is? Do you have any idea? And he's, and then he says, if I own. Well, he don't. Well, maybe he does. I don't know. Which, if I own a res, uh, you know, any business, I can. No, that's an absolutely 100% not true. Been ruled in the Utah S Supreme Court, in the United States Supreme Court. Absolutely. You cannot freaking deny people entrance to a freaking your business, especially a restaurant, based on any orientation, whether you be. You know, a gay bar freaking discriminating against a heterosexual person or vice versa. Or, you know, if you're African-American or if you're brown, if you don't speak, you know, the right language, if you're, you know, whatever. You can't do it. It's against the fucking law. That's, I mean, been ruled. You cannot discriminate against a person for fucking being thirsty. Not only that, it's a basic human right. You could kill a person that way. I mean, but that's welcome to Utah. I mean, this is outrageous. You know, and everybody just stands by and this is okay. It's not okay. I didn't do anything. I walked in there. I just been in the... Hey, can I get a little cup or some water? You know, you know, they deal in plastic constantly over there, but they're green, right? Don't you think they just hand me a porcelain cup? Yeah, here, sir. You know, you okay? <laughs> uh, they have John Lennon on the wall. Freaking Emmy. Oh, my God. Welcome to America. So Buffett sold the stock. By the way, I'll put up the salmon numbers. The lowest returns on the, you know, Alaska and Oregon and Washington on the Chinook salmon. The season's over and ended in Alaska. The lowest in the history of Alaska on the Chinook. Stay in tune.